We begin the trip in buses adapted for local operations, which bring passengers to regional centers with larger stations. Local neighborhood buses usually operate in environments with many vulnerable road users, so they're equipped with sophisticated monitoring systems that alert the driver to people moving in traffic. When the bus stops at the station, changing to the next bus, which is adapted for regional commutes along the traffic system, is simple. The buses are designed for heavy passenger traffic, using all doors for entering and exiting. Here we see passengers arriving from other modes of transportation, such as metro systems or commuter trains. This bus is designed so that passengers travel comfortably at higher speeds to other stations along the traffic system. The bus is designed for longer journeys, allowing passengers to work en route. Internet, plenty of legroom, and comfortable seats are just a few of the amenities. Here we see two buses driving closely together, while a third approaches from the rear and links up with the buses ahead of it. Driving in a convoy, or platoon, means that the vehicles maintain an optimal, safe distance from each other, which saves on fuel. The bus train now approaches an obstacle. The first platooning vehicle easily maneuvers around it, and the other vehicles automatically follow. If the first vehicle has an active safety system for collision prevention, the driver does not need to perform this evasive maneuver. In the long term, the bus platooning could eliminate the need for drivers in buses 2 and 3. The platoon will now enter a designated bus lane, which allows it to maintain high speed without interference from other traffic. A dedicated bus lane also increases comfort by eliminating unnecessary acceleration and braking. The bus train now enters a section of road with electric propulsion. We see how the current collectors automatically extend to meet the overhead lines. Now the road curves, and thanks to the driver assistance program, the buses are always in the right position in relation to the overhead lines. In other words, the driver does not need to keep the bus on track. Here we see the bus platoon enter an area where it runs on batteries. The pantographs retract automatically. The batteries have been charged for the predetermined stretch of road. Determining when the buses run on electricity can be linked, for example, to time of day, areas in which you want to reduce noise pollution, or tunnel travel. The bus platoon has now left the electricity-only zone. Outside a densely populated area, for example, Biofuels can be used instead. Here comes a car heading for the next exit, which must cut through the bus platoon. As soon as the car signals a lane change, the distance between buses automatically increases so the car can exit. One bus will exit to stop at one of the stations along the traffic system, or perhaps to drive to a nearby airport. For maximum comfort and safety, the driver is assisted when exiting so as not to drive too fast. The suspension system can also be adjusted so that the vehicle leans into the turn, providing even greater comfort. Now the bus arrives at a regional center. The travelers have either reached their destination or can continue their trips via other modes of transport.